my name is Tamara Chambers, and this is Tamara's Never Seen. And today, I am watching Cat in the Hat. This is the first week of November, where I watch terrible, terrible films. And I'm starting it off with just a mwah, classic. What a, what a classic. I don't want to watch this. Last week was technically in November, although I was still calling it Tamtoberfest, but it was the human centipede, so it could also fit right in there. I've heard from the Nostalgia Critic guys that this is just terrible. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see if it's that bad. I think it will be. I like Mike Myers though, so I don't know. There should be some comedy there. I like Dakota Fanning. Third example. Oh God, okay, let's just do it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? All right. Nah, 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 nah. of sadness that I will never recover from. There was no laughter. There was just cat. There were no smiles to be had. There was just hat. There was no joy. There was only Mike Myers being terrible. Well, how are you so bad in a film and then so good in so many other things? What is what? What? What is happening? What? 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 I was texting Doug and Rob Walker about my movie watching experience with this, and I said, I didn't even smile, let alone laugh. There was no joy to be found in this movie. End quote by Tamara Chambers. <laughs> Critic of the year! Ah! I think this is one of the worst films I've ever seen. The lack of comedy was insane. The lack of fun was insane. Literally, not once did I smile from something just like vaguely making me happy. It was so, 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 so bad. How, how did they make it that bad when the source material is so good and, and when, <laughs> how? Stop laughing at yourself. I do this all the time in my, Tamara's never seen episodes, I'll like say something and then I'll laugh and when I'm editing back, I'm like, wow, you really laugh at yourself a lot, Tamara. This, no, no. Mike Myers as cats, stop laughing at yourself. <laughs> Here's a dumb joke that I just thought of this morning and I pooped on it and then I put it in a script. <laughs> We're gonna carve out a section of this to be positive. You know what I mean? The sets, were cool and the stylization of the film was really cool the costumes and it all looked very cool it's very grinchy i guess very you know how cat in the hat should look it looked super cool i loved it i loved it it started off before cat showed up everything was fine in my notes i was like oh it's just jack and then i wrote oh no oh jack no hard to make him not funny i think and they did it with such breeze and ease. Mm, easy breezy beautiful. Just Jack. Fired. That's not funny. Just yelling fired into someone's face as a boss isn't funny. <laughs> then I wrote, oh God. Alec Baldwin is in this? Oh God. How did Alec Baldwin weasel his way into <laughs> the Cat in the Hat movie? What is happening? So the story is about this single mother who's dating Alec Baldwin and she has two children. The children always make a mess of the house and she's going to get fired uh, if the party she's throwing tonight for her job isn't like a spotless, spick and span, clean party. And so she has to leave for the day and all of this stuff happens with Kat and the kids make a mess of the house and it's like about getting the house clean again and you know, capturing their dog that ran away. It's a mess of a story, it's terrible. But Alec Baldwin's character wants the son of the mother to go to military school because he's a little brat and he makes a mess of everything and he's very immature. And he does the opposite of what everyone tells him to do. Great, cool, cool, cool. We're supposed to be like pitted against Alec Baldwin's character in this, which let's be honest, isn't hard to do, but it's so funny because he's like, hey, you should go to military school and everyone's like, wow, no, that's crazy. And I'm like, yeah, that little rat should go to military school. The mom and son are having a fight at one point and the son goes, 
Sometimes I wish I had a different mom, and the mom fires back, yeah, well sometimes I wish the same thing. Whoa! <laughs> Brutal son! Fire! Shots just flying everywhere. Damn. Shit! I wrote, this is really cute so far. I think it might be Mike Myers that makes this movie bad. So far it's good. <laughs> Then he comes in, dot, 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 dot. What the f Nothing about him is funny. His physical humor, not funny. His jokes, not funny. The way he's delivering the lines, not funny. The makeup, atrocious. Every, he's just, what is happening here? What is going on? What, what, what are you doing? Oh, he coughed up a hairball. That's hilarious. Actually, right before I started filming this, uh, my cat, Wendy, in fact, did cough up a hairball, and it wasn't funny, and it was just, it was funnier than the movie. She should have cast Wendy. She's internet famous for eating pancakes, so she would be beloved by all. There's a big musical number when he enters, and it's all about having fun. This song is about having fun, and I frowned through the whole thing. I was, it actively angered me to watch this musical number of a giant talking cat about having fun that I, it's very on brand for me to like something like that and I frowned through the entire thing, you guys. So many fart and poop and burp jokes throughout all of this. You know, I would actually like to formally apologize to the word joke for how I used you just now. Fart and poop and burp jokes. I sorely misused you and uh, it will not happen again. From the bottom of my heart, I'm sorry. Just wrote, I wish this were Shrek. <laughs> thing one, thing two show up. They're not funny. They're not funny. In big letters I wrote, nothing is funny anymore. Help! And the fish is the best actor in this. So. The CGI fish is the best actor. Then he's a pinata for some reason. They're like, hide! And then he sees that there's a giant cat pinata. He's like, you know what? <laughs> <gasps> it's weirdly sexual too. Like, yeah, they're doing a bunch of like adult jokes, adult humor in this. That's not what I mean. I mean like having this bigger adult sized man cat walking around with these kids and like having kids hit him in the crotch as a pinata, like stuff like that. It's just, it's, it's very weirdly on the verge of being sexual. I'm probably just looking too deep into it because I was sitting there just trying to find anything uh, to talk about during this stupid movie. <laughs> Every joke is misery. That's a fun one that I wrote. It's a fun line. You know how to tell when a movie is bad? I'll tell you. It's when Paris Hilton shows up and you're like, oh, okay. There's something of note. I just suddenly in the middle of watching this film had a brilliant idea that I had to write down and it's just Four words. Ike and Diff hats. Wow, you know what'll bring joy to some viewers after a 10 minute misery review? It's um, Ike and different, different hats. So we'll see if that happens. Won't we, buddy? He has no idea what's coming. What was that Universal Studios call? What was that? They're on a roller coaster and the son is like, this is like a roller coaster. And he's like, just like the ones at Universal Studios. And he pulls out two tickets to Universal Studios. What the f I surprised myself a little with how angry I got by that. I wrote, it's almost impossible how shitty it is. It's almost impossible. But they did it. Well done, guys. So Rob Walker says, Myers wanted out, and the studio held him to the contract game. Rumor is he made it extra awful just to bring the project down. He trolled it and won. It was miserable. I hope that's the case. That makes it better in my mind, because I really like Mike Myers. And I did not really like this. I. Oh, I hated this movie. I hated it. I love cats. I love hats. This was just a swing and a miss, you know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this terrible moment in my life. Cue Ike in hats. You want some hats to be put on you? Santa hat. Do you, do you like that? No, let's go to the witch's hat with a nice green wig. It's a little culturally insensitive. That's what this is. It's a blonde cat wig. It's really nice. You look beautiful. I'm gonna go give Ike a million treats now. Goodbye! <laughs>